So I'm pulling up to the apartment. I'm at the four-way where Moe's Garage and my apartment complex are catty corner. I take a left. I see this group of people standing there, and they're, like, taking pictures of what used to be Moe's Garage. And I'm like, well, I should probably go talk to them and let them know that it just came down. But maybe I can tell them how to get to some other sites, you know, whatever. So I get out of my car. After I park, I go over and I talk to them. I'm like, hey, you guys here to see what used to be Moe's Garage? Uh, one guy turns. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, well... It just came down on the first, um, you know, it's pretty recent, so you just missed it. Uh, and I was going to go into telling them how to get to Renette's Bridge, which is just around the corner, and the Twin Peaks sign, and Dirtfish Rally School, where the sheriff station used to be, blah, blah, blah. Well, he's like, yeah, I was here, and I was like, oh. So I figured he must be a prox prospecting crew for the property. Maybe he's the one who financed tearing it down or he's involved in it and they're going to build something new there. So I thought maybe I could find out what was going in there, some sort of business or whatever. We start talking. Um, he's like, so you live in this apartment right here? I'm like, yeah. Um, well, I'm moving out right now. But um, used to. It's kind of weird because I just watched Firewalk with me. The night before Moe's Garage came down, so I saw that scene, realized that's my apartment, went outside the next day, they're tearing it down. He starts laughing, he's like, yeah, we were looking at doing some shots from the roof here, and I'm like, what's that? Shots? You're with the, uh, with a filming crew? And then it hit me, I'm like, you're with the filming crew from the new Twin Peaks. He's like, yeah, you, you can't say anything to anybody, and I'm like, my lips are sealed. And I'd already kind of relayed about my YouTube channel and stuff. But I gave my, my word that I wouldn't say anything. And then I started looking around. Once I realized it was a filming crew, I looked around and there's David Lynch. He's standing right there. He's trying to keep his back to me, which, understandable, he doesn't want to be interrupted. He doesn't want some crazy fanboy or something like that, which I'm not. I'm not like that. But, you know, I can understand he's probably had that in the past. I mean, with the the popularity of Twin Peaks, that's a pretty reasonable assumption. Um, so, it was kind of crazy. So, I ran into David Lynch and his filming crew. I didn't get to say anything to David Lynch. Obviously, he was busy anyway. I wouldn't have interrupted. Had I known that they were a filming crew, I would have just left well enough alone. Um, I just thought they were tourists, and I was going to give them a hand. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. But, because I gave my word, I'm going to look at... Um, I'm filming this today. But I'm going to give my, I gave them my word that I wouldn't release the video about David Lynch being involved in the filming and where they were scouting and stuff like that and any of the release details. Um, I know a lot of people like to put that stuff online as fast as they can find it. I'm going to wait until the scheduled release uh, date for the first episode comes out and then I'll schedule the release of this video to be parallel to that one. I have to keep my word. But it was kind of neat and totally crazy random happenstance.